My mission as a filmmaker is to explore stories of, about families and about family relationships that we don't necessarily choose, but that we're born into. And there's so many themes about it. It's about family legacy, it's about control. I was kind of fascinated with the opportunity that one actor could play multiple roles, but I didn't want it to be just a trick. When the, the question came, how do we do it? In a way where when you're watching the show, you're not looking for the seams. As a filmmaker, I'm more interested in the experiment. Derek was my first choice. His first answer was no, and I just, I just kept pummeling him. The one thing about Derek as a director is he never wants you to be comfortable. He always wants everyone to be slightly tripping through air, like kind of falling down all the time. The process that Mark and I talked about on our very first meeting was, can we do this where we shoot all of one of the brothers first and then break while you transform into the other brother? So eventually what we ended up doing was, you know, Mark played Dominic first. We shot for about, I guess, 15 weeks, and then he took five or six weeks off. He gained 30 pounds, he came back, and we did the other half of the story with him as Thomas. And it was, uh, you know, like a fascinating experiment to have the same actor embody these two completely different people. I told him he was an uncle, and he smiled, and he got it, man. He was, he got it. Everything he does is to create such a natural, authentic environment that you don't even feel you're acting. And you can see from all of his work, you know, he manages to just get something so raw and real. I learned something today. I learned that there are two young men lost in the woods. Not one, two. Derek is so open to whatever happens in the moment, because he never knows what he's going to find. And it gave me, as an artist, so much freedom. You're assuming that this is the worst place in the world for your brother to be, and that may not be the case. Derek is an incredibly generous director. He's just such an incredible listener. He doesn't want to feel like you're holding anything back or like have any kind of fear. You can just like walk off the cliff and it's going to be okay. There's like no wrong move. It's all of high drama in small, ordinary events. He is really open to discovery. I thought you were going to hustle me with your good looks and just try to take me for a loop. He just wants you to arrive on set in flow. You just sort of enter the scene and he wants you to really be in the zone and get as close to this reality you're creating as you can. Spending time with your grandfather is like being trapped with Mussolini! You're out of your mind. I was thrilled by this idea of different arcs, you know, of the multiple openings and the multiple endings. In terms of production, it was just a challenge of stamina, really. Because of the pace, you can be less precious with things. Every actor has a chance to represent their experience that they know as a human being and bring that humanity to the screen. I'm really interested in these actors and their faces, you know. I'd say I'm addicted to close-ups. As a filmmaker, I'm like the coach and the actors are the players. They're the ones who get the score points. I'm not giving up on my brother, all right? You don't just give up on the people you love. <laughs>